Okay, so if I did this right, I'm streaming uh, with sound and all that stuff. It's funny, I had to kind of, I haven't used this setup in a while, so I had to give myself a quick crash course on how to do this. But uh, yeah, I'm Matt, this is Super Apartment Friends, and uh, doing something a little different tonight. Uh, originally, I was planning on doing uh, some more Star Trek Online, but uh, in light of Haru, Haru Nakajima passing on Monday, it seemed it just seemed like I should do one more thing of Kaiju Lai and, and actually hit a game that I hadn't touched on before. So, hey! What's up, Rikio? It is still Kaiju Lai because uh, Haru Nakajima died. So we get a little more Kaiju Lai. It just uh, it just seemed right. Ted uh, Actually, Ted suggested it, and I thought that was uh, a neat idea. <laughs> Kaiju Lai never ends. It goes forever in your heart. Kaiju Lai dies when I die. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I had to, had to do it. I had a, man, I had a joke planned where I was going to pour one out. For our homie who isn't with us anymore, but I'm inside, and also I like booze, so it's going to go in my mouth, but this is a Haruo Nakajima, the one and only, the original Godzilla, the best Godzilla, let's be honest. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, so I landed on Godzilla Unleashed for tonight because I hadn't played it for Kaiju Lai, and... It's, uh, I, I have a, I have a cute idea for tonight and that's to, uh, in video game form, recreate as many of, uh, Nakajima's fights as possible or his, as many of his movie roles as possible. So, um, yeah, Ted, thanks for the idea. This is awesome. This just, it would, it would feel wrong to not do a little more Kaiju life for this. Um, but yeah, I actually, I, I wrote, I jotted down a list of what I could kind of sort of recreate in Unleashed. And, uh, yeah, this one's weird. This one's very weird. Uh, it's not bad. I did a warm-up round beforehand. Um, and, you know, everybody hates the, the motion controls because they are real strange. But if you give yourself enough time to get familiarized with them, it works pretty much like Destroy All Monsters Melee or Save the Earth. Um, with, there's a lot of neat ideas on this one that were all kind of half-baked, <laughs> kind of like Save the Earth, but, uh, yeah, man, um, <laughs> Riccio always, always watch something dreadful and take down ideas. Uh, Ted, thank you. Uh, it was your idea and then I kind of piggybacked off it, but yeah, we're going to get started, um, with, oh God, I got to make sure my booze and my mic doesn't get in the way of the goofy ass Wii remote I actually loved when motion controls are good I really love motion controls this is not a case where they're I mean they're usable right but they're not like great so it's like one of the only games that lets you play as a pre Heisei Godzilla which is I mean it's only 54 which I love that he, I had such mixed feelings on them saying oh here's 54 cause 54 is great. I love 54. But it seems like 54 is above video gamey shenanigans. Like, that's a 60s and 70s Godzilla kind of thing. 54 is like... I don't know. It seemed a little sacrilege, but, uh... Uh... Oh, no. One. There we go. Okay. What am I... Four? No. Three? How do, I can't do one? Oh no. Hang on. Some of this really hinged on me being able to go fly solo. Classic destruction. And just me. Just me by myself, baby. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, that's a bone zone. Okay. I didn't do I didn't do that much research. Oh, it's all it's all versus stuff. And so, 54 Godzilla, you can't even take into single player. Huh. Okay. Well, that's alright. We'll, I was going to do... 
So I assume for some reason I had remembered destruction mode as being a single player option too. So for for uh, Godzilla fifty four and Rodan and Mothra, I was gonna do just a, me playing as Nakajima's monster doing you know a solo thing. But I will will skip that and jump straight to the versus matches. I guess. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Rikio. I had no idea the original Godzilla was a. Uh, I had no idea he was an allegory for the nuclear bomb. And that reminds me, did you know that Frankenstein is the doctor and not the monster? <laughs> hey, Sarazawa may be a lovesick cyclops. That is the funniest description I've heard for that. Uh, he may be a lovesick cyclops, but he's a fucking gangster, dude. That's a pretty, that's a pretty solid way to go out. He invented, like, a super double secret nuke. That's amazing. Alright, so... Solo thingies aren't an option, so we'll st jump straight to raids again. So we got Godzilla and Angiris. And... Oh, the maps... Yeah, this... Back and forth on this one. Let's say... I do forget the settings of the movies. In my mind, they're just Japan. So, like, we'll do, uh... <laughs> Rikyo, your classmate failed an AP exam because she didn't know anything about Frankenstein. I took a whole class on Frankenstein. I love that book, but still. Chose the story as a book of literary merit. Oh, dear. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna do Osaka. Because they're Tokyo. See, okay, so all the all the levels are like these crazy post-apocalyptic uh, settings. So we got like Osaka is flooded with toxic gas, and Tokyo is flooded with water. <laughs> uh, Godzilla for Turbo Duo. Oh, that's cool, and that is one. The Turbo Duo games I tried to get a hold of uh, and couldn't figure out how to run it. Or I couldn't get a hold of it. I got something in my eye. I don't know what that means. I, you know what? And I didn't know this was my plan until like this afternoon. It is. It is. It's like it's like a final, final war. I can't talk. It is like a final wars type of setting. Because they, they rushed this. Sh Holy shit. I've only had, like, a fourth of one beer. They kind of rushed this to coincide with the 50th anniversary and Final Wars. So, yeah, that's kind of what they were going for. The film I'm watching opens with a narrator and a shot of an atom. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Ricky, are you going to you gonna drop little hintarinos? <gasps> You're watching the Emoji Movie! Ah, you poor thing. You poor soul. What have you done to deserve this? I salute you, Rikio. Good luck, sir. Look at that camera work. The The character models look good, and I like a lot of the animations, but the environments are really clunky, and the gameplay... You'll see me kind of herking and jerking uh, out of frame, but... Uh, oh, shit. Get up. Oh my god, he's kicking my ass. I guess I should have adjusted the difficulty for, uh, I haven't played this in, in 10 years mode. Holy shit. Come on. Yeah, not, they're not the most responsive controls ever. Which I think is why people didn't care for this that much. <laughs> Remember when, when 54 Godzilla did like Kung Fu and jumped 75 feet through the air? Me too. It was my favorite part of the movie. What a, what a grim, what a grim warning of atomic warfare it was. <laughs> God damn it. 
Oh, the Wii. Motion controls were great for like two games. Ugh, my butt. There we go. Oh my god, he's kicking my ass. We're about to change history for the worse, folks. Nakajima, I've failed you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, they, they, they really went... In some ways, they really went for it with this game. It's just like Save the Earth. They kind of, they like bit off more than they could chew. That throw sucks because it ends me, it leaves me prone. There we go. Okay, I'm catching up a little bit. That bite is killer. But so is that. Oh, his breath is lame. Oh, I need to stop doing that move. There we go. Damn! That took like... Okay, so the way it works... One of the many weird things about this game is that you have your health bar, but you also have... Damn. But across the top, you have like blocks, so each block is a health bar. All right, let me catch up. <laughs> oh, Sir Patrick Stewart. Hey man, yeah, Patty Stu, like, A, it's hilarious that he got to play the turd. B, you know that was an easy paycheck. I don't know. I love, I'm a big Patrick Stewart fan too. Like, as far as I'm concerned, the dude can basically do no wrong. He had pizza for the first time like a year ago. I thought that was, like, super charming. <laughs> yeah, and Gears, yeah, that's true. So yeah, we just rewrote history. I am playing this on the Wii, and it is... It is strange. It's actually... It was really nostalgic to boot my Wii back up, though. <laughs> so, okay. Alright, I'm actually going to defer to you guys. Should I move on to... Uh, a rough facsimile... Of King Kong vs. Godzilla. I was... Oh, next round. Oh, we're not even done yet. It ain't over till it's over, baby. That was just round one. I can't imagine the other rounds will go that much better. Maybe I'll... I don't know. Maybe I'll get my shit together. So far, not very good. <laughs> oh, the jumping. The stupid moon jumps where he doesn't bend his legs. Yeah, yes. Excellent. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, good. The building just bounced off his head. Harmlessly. Yeah, I gotta... Okay. I'm, I'm kind of getting my groove back now. Because there's, like, power-ups and things. He is immune to buildings. What the fuck? Why is he immune to buildings? That is horrendous. So yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe I can grab some power-ups. Oh yeah, here we go. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh yeah! In this one, if you if you charge into a big enough building, it, they just bat it aside. There's some cool stuff in this game. It is it is a clunky, funky mess, but there's little there's little things here and there that I'm like, that was a cool idea. There's some stuff where I'm like, I don't know if that's right for Godzilla, but it's fun for a monster fighting game. Like, the whole the whole picking up buildings thing that they've done since uh, Destroy All Monsters always felt a little out of place, but at the same time, it's like, well, it's awesome, so who cares? And Toho was okay with it. Oh, shit, come on. 
Oh, the running is weird. Because you can't just run in whatever direction you want. You gotta, you gotta start off running straight and then turn. There we go. There we go. Oh, damn. Okay, it's coming back to me now. I played this game a lot. I mean, should I? I, for real, unlocked everybody. That wasn't like a, a cheat code or anything. I can't believe I played this game enough to do that. Oh, damn. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, fuck. That building was too big. We couldn't crash through that. Oh, dear. I like, I like that for Godzilla 54, they're like, what should his grapple throw be? I know. Kick him in the nuts. Good old Godzilla standby of just blasting somebody in the nards. That bite rules when I can land it. There we go. How do you like that, you freak bitch? <laughs> Let's just run. Let's just explore this uh, amazing level design. Alright. Just kidding. I want to throw more buildings at you. Ooh, there's also... Oh, okay. So this level's gimmick, the toxic, the toxic smog makes it so that your your energy bar, your beam bar, doesn't refill naturally. So you have to find a yellow crystal and bash it open to, uh, to get that going. Fuck. Yeah, there we go. Or you can charge it up by, see... You've got your energy bars, those blocks at the bottom. It seems kind of overpowered that when you charge up, you're also blocking. A lot of, lot of weird choices with this game. A lot of weird choices. But it's kind of neat. I don't know. Like, that's, that was my big takeaway from Kaiju Lai in general. I, I was expecting, like, oh, all these games are going to be kind of like shitty um because licensed game yeah there we go licensed games typically aren't great and and kaiju games have a reputation for not being that great but really it's just they're all kind of obtuse so if you can crack their weirdness you can have some fun with them i think godzilla unleashed is in exactly that same uh exactly that same realm all right, let me catch up with chat. You are legally obligated to mention every time uh, Patty Stu shows up, because he's the man. I think, so I read some reviews for the Emoji movie, and it sounded like, in general, uh, he's in a grand total of about three or four minutes of the movie, even though he was one of the big selling points. Come see Patrick Stewart be a turd! Because who doesn't want to see that? And he's in, like, three minutes. Uh, yeah, the, the animations are ridiculous, and the jumping is ridiculous, too. Yeah, it is. It is kind of like Monster of Monsters. Oh, yep. I remember the pick up everything cheat. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, Rikio, who who communicates with emojis? I don't know. Maybe look at the chat. Boom. Uh. Yeah, kids. I kids love emojis. I love emojis. I use them in a dumb way though, so maybe it's okay. Uh, yeah, Toho okayed a lot of weird stuff for this. Ah, oh, the eggplant penis joke would be funny. <laughs> Whatever, dude. The beefy bicep is the best emoji of all time. 
It's the best one. I freaked out when I discovered that. Like, I kind of lost my shit and sent uh, biceps to everyone in my phone. Because it's great. It's so much better than a thumbs up. One of the many things that's weird about this game is that the, uh, like, the pointer function... Holy shit, he's going crazy. Oh my god. He's really mad that I kicked his ass last time. Um. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Holy shit. Um. When you do your breath attack, it, it sometimes auto-locks, but then sometimes it uses the pointer, shit, to aim it. Oh my god, he's going ape shit on me. There we go. Fuck. He rocked my ass. Oh, uh-uh. We gotta get that. Yeah, we gotta get that health. Oh, my God. Oh, don't run by it. Did I get it? I can't tell. I guess I didn't need it yet. Because it only fills up the health bar you're currently working on. I think he, I think uh, part of the reason why I'm not doing that much damage to Angiris, I think he's blocking, and there's not like a block animation because he landed a punch on me, and nothing happened. But I technically was blocking. There we go. Okay, I'm catching up now. There we go. Yeah. See now I gotta. You have to turn it like a doorknob to aim the breath. It's so strange. Oh shit. Oh my god. Angiris, you're supposed to lose. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay, we're even Stevens now. I got a better feeling about this, slightly. I'm going to prevent him from taking that. Oh shit. Dude, man, is bringing the thunder. I can charge my beam laying down. That's kind of hilarious. Except when I die. It's less hilarious when I die. There we go. I'm at least keeping up with them. Shit. Or I was. Oh, God. Okay. It's gonna be close. There we go. <laughs> oh, damn. It was close. I need to get airborne more. Ooh, if I just got good. Or use cheat codes. That's true. <laughs> all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a second should i not move on to the next fight until i beat angiris or should we just move on to the next fight i'll leave that to you oh i earned 1000 store points holy shit store points i think i, I think i unlocked everything though uh, the next fight will be my ghetto version of King Kong vs. Godzilla, which will be, in, in, in tonight's tribute, the role of King Kong will be played by King Caesar, because they're both mammals with the word king in their name. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you guys a second to decide if I have to finish Anguirus off before I move on, or, uh, or if I should just move on. Yeah, I got everything. Purchase, purchase. I thought, uh... Yeah. I guess... Oh, yeah, here we go. The gallery. Gallery one. Everything. Yep. Oh, hey, look at that! Some videos. Well, fuck, we're gonna unlock these videos. And a video of Jet Jaguar. Excuse me, Jet Jaguar. 
You better believe it. How could I not unlock that? Yeah, boy! Beautiful. Move on, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Marvel? They fucking said hashtag truth in the movie. Oh, God. Yeah, Ricky, I don't know, man. Sony doesn't put out good movies very often. Let's watch. Let's watch Rodan. Oh, beautiful. Wow. And... Why did I not unlock Mothra's video? Jeez, 2006 me. What were you thinking? Beautiful. I love them. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm also going to make it so it's not best to three. Last monster standing in this one round battle. That's what we want. Okay. So, yeah. Boomski. <laughs> cube bots. Who are the cube bots? I don't know who that is. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm 54. King somebody. And we will play in Tokyo. And you know what? I'm going to bounce around to different levels. Just because it'll be boring if I just do the two Japan levels. So yeah. We'll kind of tweak some things here and there. And then, yeah, after this will be... Okay, cool. Yeah, this should be fun. Yeah, we're doing just... We're just doing last monster standing now. So, oh yeah, 20 minutes. Don't worry. I'm sure I'll die before then. Or maybe he will... I hate that they couldn't... I love that King Caesar is in this because King Caesar legit is one of my favorite monsters. Um... But I hate that they just gave him a beam instead of trying to find a way to make his reflective eyeballs work. Because I think that would have been a lot more fun. That's, man, that, that's one of my beefs with with uh, these games is that they're just like, well, when in doubt, give him a beam. I think I, I, I liked what they did with Angiris. Oh, look at that belly flop. Um, with Angiris, they gave him like a, a sonic scream. And that, that felt, that was like low key, and I felt like that was a good fit for Angiris. But like, they gave King Caesar a beam, and they gave Titanosaurus a beam, and it's like, come on, man. Don't just give everybody a beam. King Caesar getting punked out. I mean, King Kong. Oh, yeah. So technically. We're going to rewrite... If I win, we're rewriting history again. Because King Kong won. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, Godzilla swims underwater. Whatever. He was the bad guy in that movie. Like, I love Godzilla too. But sometimes he's the bad guy. So, like... You gotta just be okay with that. Yeah, King's... Wow. And Gears was, like, bringing it. And King Caesar is not. What's the matter, King Caesar? Did somebody not sing at you for 20 minutes? I mean, technically this is King Kong, so maybe he's drunk. I love that about Toho Kong, that he just is, is like sloshed half the time. I, just in general, I love Toho Kong. I wish the suit was better, but the characterization is super toy. Oh, I wanted that blue crystal. Yeah. I'm in my groove now. This is such a simplistic uh, brawler. I get why people are not into this. I like it. But if it wasn't Godzilla monsters, I probably wouldn't. Clonk. I wish these were wrestling games, straight up. Whoever made those wrestling games for the N64 back in the day, I wish they had the Godzilla license. Because that shit would be tight. Okay. So another weird quirk of this game is that when their health bar gets low like that, 
you have to knock it down with like a physical hit. So like the beam won't knock off that block of their health. Which again, there's all these strange choices where it's like, I get what they were going for and I kind of respect it, but it was all kind of half-baked. Because they, they, they had to rush it for the anniversary. <laughs> right in the Nards. See, and he should have, he should have crumbled that building. Oh, here we go. Let's uh, let's charge up some beam while he's doing nothing. Hear that? Boom. I love I love the uh, the Wii remote speaker. It's such just a, like a pointless feature, but it's just fun. Oh, <laughs> the building throwing has been ineffective boomski baby oh yeah we're rewriting history baby oh yeah Woo. Woo. I'm literally running circles around him This is it. This is it. Boom. New champion. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Gross, Riccio. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole, the, the change from, from Shiza to Caesar is really weird. I, when I, oh man, in the early days, I really liked that because I thought it was, I thought it was neat that it was spelled the same way as Caesar. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Like it made it more exotic and mysterious. But now that I know that like Shiza statues are like a real thing in Japanese mythology, I'm like, why didn't they just keep it like that? It's really weird. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I love the idea that Kong's uh, electricity just would have made the water fry. Um, and I want to know how Toho's Kong suits were hampered by American shenanigans. That's fascinating. Because you look at those suits, and you look at gorilla suits in other movies from Japan at the time, and it's like... Or shit, like Spectre Man had better gorilla suits, and that was a TV show. Oh boy. Everybody loves that brain meme. That drives me nuts. I don't care for that. A thousand store points! I have nothing left to buy, but I got them points. Alright. So next will be Mothra vs. Godzilla. So if I lose, it's not that I suck, it's that I'm just being canonically accurate. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, also, do you want Frozen Sydney? Do you want Earthquake San Francisco? Do you want Volcano Seattle? A lot of West Coast stuff. Do you want Monster Island? Do you want Anti-Gravity London? Do you want Asteroid New York? Uh, we just did that. Or do you want mothership? I'm going to let you guys vote on the level. So keep it on the level. Half Humans Abominable Snowman does look better than Toho Kong. I didn't realize Foo Dogs and Shizas were separate things. That's really cool. I like both of those. Those are cool monsters. I love a good monster. Obviously. <laughs> I like that I said that like it was an amazing revelation. Hey, did you guys know that I like monsters? But I like, I like shit from all over the world. Like, Japan had the best Atomic Age monsters, but Ancient Greece had the best monsters for their time period. And I just, I like it all, man. I just like a good monster. 
New York. All right. We can do New York. I'm having a Corona, too. Uh, because I am too fast and way too furious. All right. New York. Or as uh, my my friend from elementary school would say, New York. Because he was not from around here. And he, uh, instead of a soft J, he was all about the hard Y and the, and the soft CH. All right. <laughs> all right, Mothra. Oh, she changed instantly. Fine. They make her so small. Oh, man. I do fucking love Mothra, though. She's the best. Take that, New York Public Library. That'll teach you to be the opening scene of Ghostbusters. Just kidding. Thank you for being the opening scene of Ghostbusters. Ah, oh, beautiful rainbow lasers and maser tanks. See, I'm the bad guy, so, like, it makes sense if I lose. It's just being accurate. Oh, okay. And that's the thing that happened. What? Oh, boy. Mothra and that Mazer tank are not getting along. What is she doing? She's having a shit fit. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Oh, she's small, so she's, like, weird to hit. Damn, she got a lot of beam. S okay, enough. I get it. You're... You... They gave you a beam. <laughs> I understand. You know what's funny, too, is I still have the PS4 Godzilla game in my head, so I keep forgetting that I actually can block in this game. God, she's whipping my ass. There we go. Clonk. Splodonk. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, humans. Clearly, the beautiful butterfly is the villain in this scenario. Oh, good. I'm d I definitely don't expect buildings to crumble in a Godzilla game. Yeah, there we go. Finally, a satisfying... Uh... Oh, sometimes you can pick up the Mazer tanks. Finally, a satisfying building hit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I want that crystal. Let me have that crystal. Yay. That might have just saved my ass. Maybe. Shit. One thing that was weird, I keep, I actually forgot about this. Um, one, one of their selling points for this game was like, you can jump and walk in a direction and punch in another direction. And they advertise that like, oh, this is a good thing. And it's like, that seems crazy. Like, nobody, you, people don't think that way. It, so, it sounded cool on paper, I think is what it was. But, like, the human brain doesn't really work. I mean, I could try it. Shit, maybe that's the strategy I need to do. Oh, damn. That was kind of working. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick that out. Ah, see, the throw didn't... Okay, the throw... It waited until the impact. Boom. All right, we're catching up now. The army is still mad at Mothra. I do like that, though. I like that, um, in this game, the, uh, the military is dynamic and will go after... I don't know if it's based on whoever's winning or if it, it just goes on whoever's causing the most damage. The latter makes more sense. Oh, shit. I didn't charge up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, shit, yeah, throw me at the crystals, silly. You silly goose. Oh, nope, nope. Please hit the bad guy. <laughs> Not just shoot straight up into the air like a lunatic. Yeah! Oh, all right. 
<laughs> Where did he throw it? He threw it to nowhere. Oh, you're going down, Mothra. We're rewriting history, baby. Yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm catching up on uh, chat. Okay. John Beck told Toho he'd go halves. He's on the rights to Kong with them because he was so expensive. Then at the last minute, Beck left Toho holding the bag, and they had to pay it all themselves. Godzilla suits and miniatures had already been constructed, so guess who felt the brunt of the sudden budget cuts? That makes a lot of sense, and is a bummer. John Beck kind of seems like a dick. Like, I'm glad he was a dick, because that's how we got Kong King Kong vs. Godzilla, but still. Uh, I don't particularly care for Mothra with lasers. I think she has enough going on otherwise. Given, given Mothra lasers, I get why they do it. But it just kind of seems, it seems to go against the point of the character. I don't hate it, but, uh, I'd rather they didn't. Godzilla with new abilities. Hmm... I'm good. Though the other night I was thinking, I was like daydreaming about, or night dreaming because I said the other night. But anyway, I was just thinking about how cool it would be if Legendary Godzilla did the Hedora fly, like shoot his beam at the ground and fly. And somebody did art of it. And I was thinking of that again. I was like, that would be fucking sweet. Can't bend the shin. Ted, I, I am with a Ricky on that. I really like Shin Godzilla. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> That's true. Godzilla did beat Adult Mothra. That's a good point. I love King Kong Escapes so fucking much. That's one where the more I think about it, the more I love it. Burning Legendary Godzilla. Yeah, that'd be cool. be cool okay so next up we gotta back out of this actually no we don't well i need to set up a team fight for the next one because the next one is ghidra the three-headed monster okay do they let me do team points last monster okay last monster we'll see hopefully they let me do teams otherwise this will be redonk Oh yeah, it's already split up. We got a blue team and a red team. Let's see. Rules. Okay. Number of respawns, round length, rounds for win. Hmm. Crystal powers, player attributes. There we go. Fuck yeah. Perfect. Okay. Good shit. I was hoping they would have that. Okay, but let's back out of that first. Okay, so it's Ghidra. So I'm Godzilla. Wait. Not him. Not Computer Boy. No, no, no. Back it up. There we go. I'm Godzilla. Damn it. Hang out with my frenemy, Rodan. And my other frenemy, Muthra. And we're fighting that douchebag, King Ghidorah. Not Mecha. Okay. bing a ling a ling Okay. Player attributes. Bango. Health regenerate. Normal. Energy. Re That's cool. Tweak the monster speed. Oh, I should have did that for the Angiris fight. I should have cranked the speed all the way up. Oh, well. That's a pretty healthy amount of, uh, use tiny monsters. No. That's pretty cool. Last monster standing. Perfect. Ooh, I wonder if I can adjust difficulty. That would be cool. Because I'd like to crank up uh, Ghidorah's difficulty. I don't think I can, though. That's okay. That's okay. This will just be a short one. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to catch up on chat before we start.
Yeah, Ghidra was best in the first movie. He's he's the best when he's a free agent. I don't like when he... Every other movie, he's a slave. Tsuburaya wanted to make Kong look like the 33 Kong for escapes, but then Rankin Bass stepped in and said, no, we want him to look like the cartoon. You know, I didn't... I, I did think the escape suit was a step up, but man, I would have loved to see a Tsuburaya 33 Kong. Throwing little touches here and there. Yeah. Rikyo, you're bailing on the emoji movie. <laughs> yeah, no. Rodan, Rodan and Mothra are my teammates, so we are going to curb stomp Ghidorah. Sorry. Oh, uh, vote on the level, guys. Give me another level vote. Give me another level vote. We so far we've done Osaka, Tokyo, and New York. I'll give you guys a minute to uh chime in on your level choice. <sighs> Monster Island, fuck yeah. Boomski. I think I think Monster Island's my favorite map in the game because it's the only one that isn't like a weird disaster thing. It just is Monster Island. There's not a Monster Island map in the PS4 game, is there? They missed a lot of as much as much cool fan service as they put into the PS4 game, they missed a lot of opportunities too. <laughs> Alright. This seems unfair, but whatevies. Oh, he looks great. I do I do like the character models in this game, mostly. Am I just hitting Rodan? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Rodan. <laughs> Oh, it's accurate to the movie, right? Oh, boy, if I really want... Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Rodan. I'm really not trying to hit you. Um... If we really wanted to go accurate to the movie, I guess I should have started with a Rodan fight. I skipped straight to the climax. We'll see. We'll get that rematch if, uh, if we have enough time tonight. I'll backtrack and do that up. I like that they gave us colored shadows, because I know it's it's interesting reading interviews with uh, Simon Strange, one of the lead developers on these games, because he you get you get some insight into what Toho is and is not cool with, and because they would ask like, hey, can we do like, can we one of one of the biggest things that dude gets asked all the time was, hey, can you do like alternate skins for each of the monsters? And he's like, no. Toho, Toko considers every version of a monster a separate monster that we would have to pay for. And, uh, you know, for team team fights like this, you would think you would do, like, Smash Brothers and tint the, the characters themselves certain colors. But Toho's like, nope. <laughs> you cannot do that. So they got around it with these colored shadows, which I think works pretty well. Man, oh god, I would kill for a game that lets you do the tag team moves from the movie. Like when Mothra rides on Rodan's back. God, that would be awesome. I like that, uh, I like that computer Mothra is like, oh, I'm gonna stay the worm. I know what you're doing. I literally, oh, brutal. Yay! I love Ghidra. That's one of my favorite movies for sure. No Mount Fuji stage. I feel like this is the closest you get to that. Lava level is the climax. Cool. Monster Island is a disaster by itself. I like that. Yeah, Monster Island seems more chill than Skull Island. There's a bunch of shit wants to eat you on Skull Island. Yeah, this, uh, this Ghidorah is, I think, the GMK one, but he looks better. Toe's made a lot of good stuff. That is the truth. Alright. Alright, so next one is... Bing, 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 bing. Uh, technically the next one would be, no, yeah, we'll do this. 
So chronologically next would be Frankenstein Conquers the World, uh, where our boy Nakajima plays my boy Baragon. Uh, surprise, they didn't put a Frankenstein in, which is a crime. Uh, for real, the next Godzilla game, no matter how shitty it is, if there's a playable Gargantua or a playable uh, Frankenstein, I'm in. I'll buy it, whatever it is. I don't give a shit. Because I love them. Those are those are for sure my, my favorite Toho monster movies that don't have Godzilla in them. Is the, the two Frankenstein movies. They're so good. Mm. So I'm thinking a good substitute for, uh, for Frankenstein would either be Jet Jaguar, because he's very humanoid, or King Caesar, because he's a mammal and kind of humanoid. Uh, so if you guys want to weigh in... I'll give you a second to weigh in. If it should be Jet Jaguar or King Cesaro. 91 Ghidorah? Maybe it is. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I already did. Beep, beep, beep. I'm clicking on it right now. Oh, no. Don't actually click on it, Matt. Oh, my God. It's like a joke for no one, and it just went crazy on me for a second. Jaguar? Yeah. Plus, we haven't seen Jaguar yet. I agree with that. We're not skipping that movie. Everybody loves Baragon. And granted, it's 2001 Baragon, but I like 2000... Oh, yeah, and give me a level, guys. You guys are half in charge of this. <laughs> um, I'm Man, I'm tempted to just do Monster Island every time, but I, I don't want to... Maybe we'll do San Fran, but you guys vote. Give me a, give me a level suggestion. Ooh, yeah, that's true. Um, man, I, 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 I thought for sure destruction mode you can do in single player, and I was really excited to do Varen. I might just pop, I might just bust out Varen for shits and giggles. Because uh, I love that they, it's such a cool, the movie itself, I'm like, it's it's so dry, and it's it's just not anything special, but that monster is dope. Flying Squirrel Asaurus, come on. You can't, you can't beat that. I, I get why they threw him into into destroy all monsters because that's like a dope ass creature. San Fran. There totally should be a redwood forest level. And a twister map. Yeah, yeah. We only got nine levels, like, and they're not even huge. But again, they were rushing it for for fiftieth anniversary mania, and it's like. Yeah, the 50th anniversary is nice, but I'd rather have a better game. You know? I don't know. That's 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 my stance. I would always rather have a better thing than a thing that coincides with a uh, a milestone. I do, man, I do like how uh, this Jet Jaguar incorporates size changes. Oh, and they gave him a beam, because of course they gave him a beam. God. Not everybody needs a beam. Yeah, they kind of they kind of went Ant Man with him, where he can get bigger too. <laughs> the better to hit him in the face with buildings. <sighs> Fuck you with your arbitrary ass beam. There we go. Baragon's got a beam, but he had a beam. It's like a weird flamethrower too. I like that they. they they, th this game went for movie accuracy in a big way on certain things, and then just abandoned it for other things. It's, it's again, I can't, that is the theme of the night, is that they made a lot of weird choices with this game. And I kind of dig it. I think I am, I think I am kinder to this game than most. Holy shit, he's huge. Can I grab him? No. Not when he's that big. Oh, Baragon can dig. But I don't remember how to do it. So that's a bummer. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you change up the uh, the controls so much. If this was if this was damn or save the earth, I'd be digging like a mother. Cause it's the same it's the same button combo as uh, the teleport that they gave Geigen. Which again arbitrary but kinda cool. I, I feel I feel like Geigen would teleport. He's a dirtbag. 
Oh, get up, Barragon! Can he just stay humongous forever? There we go. Oh shit, he's whipping my anus. Oh, but again, that's just being canonically accurate. Barragon lost this movie. Oh, Barragon's such a sweet little, such a sweet little jobber monster. Why do I keep trying to grab him? I literally keep trying to grab him. I'm being such a dildo. Okay, light him up. I like how the I I do like how this game does the the, uh, the beam clash, because they use the the nunchuck to make it into like a weird laser pong. It's pretty cool. Ooh, I'm catching up doing that shit. Yeah, let's. Oh, I can run around and charge up too. Shit. Oh my god, his regular punch is so weird. Okay, here we go. Dang. Hey, Mazer, get a life. Damn. Who's a little baby boy? Oh, he's so he's so pointlessly acrobatic in this game. I uh, remember when Baragon like flew around all the time. Regroup immediately and prepare for a new assault. I remember that one. <laughs> Ooh, big difference between the Varens. I'll have to I'll have to give that a look. I can't remember it's been forever since I watched Varen, but I was like not thrilled. <laughs> yeah, me and Kawakita don't see eye to eye on the whole beam thing. I am I'm a Showa boy in that respect. I just want to see monsters fucking power bomb each other. That's good enough for me. Yes. He it it uh, Baragon's beam excuse oh boy. Baragon's beam was to help him dig, but he did zap Frankenstein with it a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, Je I don't know. Jet Jaguar follows uh, Ant-Man rules. He can only get so big, I guess. Oh, I should... Shit, man. I forgot about that. It's the So the weird... The way this game is set up is that if you just tap the button, it's just a quick attack. And then if you, sh if you shake it in a direction and hit A, that's like a strong attack. And my brain programmed itself to, oh, I'll just always shake it then. And I forgot. So thank you. Thank you, Rikio. Unbelievable might kill me. Yeah, it might. I love that title though. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for a good title. And Varen the Unbelievable, I would say, is one of the best. I, I put it up there with Destroy All Monsters and Frankenstein Conquers the World. But just good ass titles. Okay. So next is Monster Zero. So let's do that. Of course, I'm Godzilla. We get that baby boy Rodan in here. And then, of course, this douche. Oh, we need to go to custom, though, so I can fuck with the teams. Fine. You should be able, you should be able to get to that from any screen. Take a hint from Smash Brothers, guys. Okay. Oh, fuck. Such a dunce. Okay, Rodan, Ghidra... Where's my options button? Fuck. What did I go to? Oh, I just went to last man standing. I need to go to custom. That's the problem. A derp. Here we go. Okay. All right. Player attributes. We'll do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll change the teams again. I guess in a second. Nah, 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 nah. If we're all on the same team, it's not much of a fight. Why are we still on the same team? What the fuck? Red, baby. Is there a confirm button I need to hit? No. Use teams. 
Why would we be on the same team? This is madness. Okay. I guess let's see what happens, right? How strange. Last monster standing. No respawns. <laughs> All right. 60, 68 minutes. It barely is more than an hour. That's beautiful. Was that a TV? Now, when, when they changed it to Unbelievable, was that released straight to TV? Because that would explain the, the hilariously short running time. <laughs> Hang on. Try pressing OK. Do you just mean here? Yeah, this just takes you to the level select. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Um, Cause yeah, it doesn't seem to want to let me have a two versus one fight. Uh, but yeah, give me a level guys. Unplayed is Sydney, Seattle, London, and uh, mommy ship. In settings, okay, yeah, rules. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Thank you, Riccio. Riccio, this is why you're the vice president. This is... <laughs> it's been a long week. Okay, we'll chalk it up to that. It's been a long week. Thank you, Riccio. Checks in the mail. Haruo Nakajima died this week, okay? Cut me some fucking slack. <laughs> I never got to meet him. He, motherfucker was going to be in Grand Rapids in October, and I was going to go there and meet him. He died instead. Selfish. Totally selfish. I made sure to leave that out of my touching tribute. Because a lot of tributes, people made it about themselves, and it's like, no, nah, man, you got to make this about the man. Not the character, not you, the human being who put his life on the line to entertain you. That's who it's fucking about. A mommy ship. I'm making the worst stream to honor his ghost, if this is any indication. <laughs> it's okay, you guys understand. <sighs> Miss him. One of a kind. That was a one of a kind person. All right, here we go. Fuck y'all, baby. Oh yeah, it should be mommy ship because this is the one that introduces space aliens in a big way. Good call, guys. You guys are way smarter than I am. <laughs> My ass is dumb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's on. I love that it I love that it's I, I kinda I have mixed feelings on the like the disasterification of the cities. But the fact that the mothership is askew because it crashed is kinda sick. I get a kick out of that. Oh that and parts of it are flooded because it crashed in the ocean. I'm like that's that's pretty fucking cool. I wish I had some camera control. I will give the PS4 game that. You have way more control over the camera. <laughs> Let's throw that thing. It's filled with the uh, flesh-eating smoke from Star Trek First Contact. Oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry, Rodan. Rodan, I'm so sorry. Oh, this is hard to control. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> it is fun to just... It is fun to just institute a fucking beatdown on, uh, on... On Ghidorah. It is, that is satisfying. Bing a wing a wing. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Oh shit. Boy, you can you can charge up your beam with impunity. Not much will stop you from charging your beam up. <laughs> okay. All right. That yellow crystal is mine, baby. Do you think maybe the people who developed this game also developed like a bad meth habit, and that's why it's full of crystals? Nah, man, what if crystals were, like, everywhere? What if they were everything? What if blue ones gave you life? Yeah, dude, that is... People, when people talk about Nakajima, they talk about, like, oh, during Rodan, he got dropped 25 feet, and during Raids Again, he got buried alive, and, you know, he fell through the floor for Raids Again. It, but it's like, no, man, the one that always stuck with me was that his fucking nuts got first-degree burns on them for Varen, of all things. <laughs> it should... I mean, I love War of the Monsters. That's... I... You know how much... War of the Monsters, though, feels more like an adaptation of King Kong or Rampage... Like, so I'm okay with this not just straight up aping. <laughs> pun, 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 pun. Uh, I'm okay with, with the Godzilla games not, like, full-on aping War of the Monsters. Because War of the Monsters is all about climbing buildings and and being, like, a 50-foot-tall monster. And Godzilla, you don't really want that. You want to be, like, a 100-foot-tall monster. Have certain events occur resulting in... Oh, yeah, that would be cool. I see what you're saying have like a dyna more dynamic map dread wardrich often i don't know if i said your name right but hey welcome to the stream i'm matt this is super apartment friends we're playing godzilla uh op uh op jesus destroya is a lunatic totally agreed uh i remember in destroy all monsters melee the first time i fought him i'm like well that's impossible i'll never beat him because his, his fucking lightsaber horn was out of control the movie the ps4 game yeah he's nuts yeah he should be right destroy should be or she or they because it's a colony of crabs but yeah destroy a yeah when you're a big devil crab based on the oxygen destroyer yeah you should be out of control <laughs> yeah like a lightsaber exactly Oh yeah, yeah, for this game, canonically, story-wise, Space Godzilla is the main baddie. I, ah! Oh, Dreadward? I fucking love Gamera vs. Zetus. That's like an unloved movie. And it should be more loved. Hey. Um, Destroyer's considered mayo. Got it. Got it. Okay, so our next one... We just did Monster Zero. So next would be... Ah, next would be Godzilla vs. Ibira. So Ibira's not playable in this. But... You know what we have instead of Ibira? We have a flying lobster. Where is she? There we go. Close enough, in my book. Zetus is baller. No, it's it's he's great, and I love that movie. That's actually that's gonna be my August review is Gamera the Brave. Um, all right, so far we've played so we played everything except Sydney and London. So give me Sydney or London, dudes. I'll give you a minute to Vigdy vote. <laughs> Ted, you re-edited Gamera's voice back into that movie. Oh, yeah, because they used, they used, was it uh, Kong 76? They used his roars instead of Gamera's roars, which is atroche. How dare you? London? Jolly old London, Gavna. I can't do, I can't do accents. Ah, uh, I say smashing. Oh, bloody hell. Can't do it. It's very bad. <laughs> All right, Mega Gears. Let's see what you got. 
He got punched in the face. Oh, God. Oh, she's so fast. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Come on. Hit him. Shit. I do love that they came up with natural disasters for, for most of these cities, and then London, they were like, uh, it's flying? And I know that might sound sarcastic, but I mean it. That's, that's super cool to me. It's a neat idea, but giant monsters feel like enough of a disaster unto themselves. I didn't didn't need more disasterness. Mega Gears, what are you doing to that bridge? Why are you so angry at that bridge? Ah, oh, more beam stuff. All right, leave me alone. Let me run to the crystal. I swear I'm not jerking it. I swear to God I'm not jerking it. Okay. Look how he sticks his tail up when he runs. We're, oh, there it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. Okay. You're gonna die. Ooh. Mega Gears is pretty resistant to my beam. That's okay. We're gonna drain that. Oh, yeah. And then punch the shit out of her. Come on. Oh, I thought I was gonna punch the shit out of her. But I did it! There we go. Yeah! Rikyo, do you remember, is there a taunt or roar button in this game? Because I was trying to find it, and I'm wondering if it's up on the D-pad. Nope, it's not that. It just feels wrong not having a, a roar button. Oh my god. Alright. Gotta do little combos. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mega Gears, you're gonna best me. I have a feeling. Oh, we're still we're still kinda even. Oh, she's blocking a lot. Okay, okay. No! Ugh. <laughs> Why did you run? Okay, okay. Let me get this crystal. You shit. No! <laughs> Okay, and let me go get the other crystal. Remember when Godzilla 54 just sprinted for the whole movie? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's over there. Shit. Here we go, here we go. Oh, no, did it disappear? Crap. Did all that sprinting for nothing. For jack shit. Oh my god, she's going nuts. Oh, there it is. There's a crystal. I don't need it now, though. Uh-oh. I'm calling it, guys. I think, I think she's got me. Maybe we can turn it around. <laughs> Not if I do that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, crap. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go get that crystal. Bitch. Let me do a... Uh... Oh, God. What are some Breaking Bad references I remember? I'm the one who knocks. Right? That's how he said it. That same delivery. I'm the one who knocks. Classic bad breakers. Kyo. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want to lose to my least favorite Godzilla monster, but I did. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I have such beef with Mega Gears. Because she usually kicks my anus. <laughs> Ted, so... Camera the Brave, they used Kong 76 and Jaws 4 noises? That's redonk. Ah, 
I would love to see a kaiju getting caught in a tornado. Yeah. Dude and monster walking from a nuke. I could see Legendary doing that. They got the money for it. Press 2. I forgot about these little monsters down here. What about Gabra? I love Gabra. Po oh, yeah. The Pokemon movies use Mothra noises constantly. Jaws 4 used the roar that Jerry from Tom and Jerry used? Oh, my God. I've only seen... Of course I've seen Jaws 1 because it's one of the best movies ever made. But of the sequels, I've only seen Jaws 2. And that was only recently. And I gotta say, Jaws 2 sucked. <laughs> really bad. Because they set it up like a slasher movie. And I'm like, yes, please. Like, literally, they, they, they build a movie that feels like if Jason was in the water instead of a summer camp. And I'm like, delicious. Thank you. But then nobody dies. Only two people die in that movie. I'm like, come on. The, the climax of the movie, you got like 10 teenagers stranded on rafts. And Jess and I were really excited. We're like, oh shit. Oh, this is going to be so bad for them. And like all of them survive. Weak. Didn't care for it. Roy Scheider is the man. He did, he, he did a lot for that movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, that was sort of... Godzilla vs. Ibira. So, let's see. We can't do King Kong Escapes, sadly. And we can't, we can't really do Son of Godzilla because we don't have Kumonga or Kamakaris. And I feel like there's nothing close enough. Plus, we just saw uh, Megagirus, who would be the closest, I feel like. So we'll skip that. But we can do Destroy All Monsters. Which is another hilarious, uh, everybody pile up on Ghidra fight. But, since we've already seen... Since we've already seen Godzilla, Mothra, and Rodan wail on Ghidra, we'll pick other guys from Destroy All Monsters to mix it up. I mean, obviously I'm still going to be Godzilla, because cause Nakajima, baby... Um, but let's do Varen for sure. And then actually, you guys pick somebody from Destroy All Monsters. We could do... We could do Anguirus. Or... Or Mothra or Baragon. Or Rodan. Or... Nobody. Those are the options. You guys pick the third Destroy All Monsters guy. And we'll do that. Mando. Well, it's shit. I wish. God, Mando would be cool. You can play as Manda in uh, in that fan game, that browser game. Which, if we if we ran out of Unleashed to play, I would have switched over to that. But I think we're gonna be good. I think we can milk this. <laughs> well, Obsidius's roars are stock noises that pop up a lot, especially if you if you were. Uh, uh, a dork in in the mid 90s and just got Cartoon Network for the first time and watched a lot of early Cartoon Network where they just ran old Hanna-Barbera cartoons those like uh, non talk show space ghost used that roar a lot as did the Herculoids and the Herculoids were fucking awesome somebody needs to make a movie out of them but yeah the, all those old Hanna-Barbera and like Johnny Quest and shit those shows all just used because yeah, it's just a, it's just a great stock noise. Godzilla, Rodan, and Varen. Cool, I'm into that. I am. Oh, we gotta bump it up. Bump, bump, bump it up. Bump, bump, bump it up. Poor Ghidra, man. He always gets ganged up on in the oldie times. All right, and so we're doing Sydney. Freezing cold Sydney. <laughs> Let's do it. Monsters. Whale on one guy. Ooh. 
Whew. Oh, Varen looks great. That is just a great looking monster. Undeniably. I used to kind of think like, ah, cause cause Varen has Varen has like a little cult following. And I used to be like, well why? It's cause he fucking looks dope. Oh, this is a clusterfuck. This is a huge clusterfuck. <laughs> That's okay. Because we are whomping on the Gidster. Mm -doo -hoo. Hey, listen to that. Oh, it only does it sometimes. I don't know if that's because my my Wii remotes are old or if because this game is wonky. Ah, force field. Oops, sorry, Baron. <laughs> this is the most screen time you've ever gotten in a Godzilla movie. I mean, it's a game. You know what I mean. <laughs> I... I, I wish there was a way to adjust the difficulty individually for each creature because yeah this is just a this is just like a, a shit show for uh, homeboy but that's how destroy all monsters is it's like 10 versus one it's like that's not an even fight I mean three verse one was two verse one was an even fight oops Oh yeah, you're going down. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and I decked Rodan while I was at it. <laughs> awesome. Kill him. That's true. Oh, they got his they got his colors right. That's awesome. Four way free for all. Yeah, we should we can do that. Oh yeah, and yeah, naturally they gave Varen a, a ray, because everyone has to have a fucking ray. Not crazy about that, as if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Kazuki. Kawakita. Is who you're thinking of. The special effects dude. Kawakita is a beamaholic. Alright. So we can't do Godzilla's Revenge because we don't have a a Gabra. Which is sad. Um, can't do Hidora because they didn't think. They said the the we couldn't handle Hidora, which is kind of awesome. That's that's kind of an awesome sentiment. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, but we can do. We can do um, Nakajima's last movie. Godzilla vs. Gigan. So let's switch up the teamies. I actually was thinking about streaming that. I was doing some poking around on how to do like a live, uh, like a live viewing party, because somebody on Tumblr, Hair Cronin or Her Cronin, I don't know how to say it, but they did. 54 Godzilla, and then Callie the Kaiju Enthusiast did War of the Gargantuas. So he did the first movie and his favorite non-Godzilla role. So I was like, well, I'll do I'll do Gigan, because that's his last one. But I was like, well, I'm not gonna I don't want to upend Super Apartment Friends. I might do that in the future still. But, uh, I was like, no, nah, man. We gotta play. We gotta, we gotta do one last one last dose of Kaiju Lai. So me and Angiris versus Ghidra and Gigan. All right, and we've played every level now. So I'm thinking Monster Island is the closest to like World Children's Land, but I'll defer to you guys if you have a, a choice or someplace you'd like to see again. Yeah, Ka Kawakita was the guy in charge of suits and miniatures and opticals and all that stuff he's why he's why you get two great looking suits that don't move a screen length apart from each other and just shooting beams all day <laughs> it's like come on 
Except for Violante. In Violante, it's it's way the fuck cooler. And then he stopped trying after that. Oh well. Nighttime city, seaside. Uh, yeah, let's do. Uh, b -b 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 yeah, we'll do Tokyo. It's a seaside nighttime city, so you get everything. Ah, oh, anything goes. Like the opening sequence of Temple of Doom. Oh shit, maybe I should pay attention to the fight. This is like the first kind of evenly balanced fight. Although, well, I guess the one-on-one -on -one fights were even-ish. Oh boy, Anguirus was whipping ass earlier, so hopefully, uh, hopefully his AI is still that devilish. Oh shit. <laughs> I lost my beam battle. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> I want that crystal. Yeah. Come on. Woo! Oh no, I ran right by him. Don't worry, Angiris, I'm cuming. I mean, coming. Yeah. <laughs> Angulus, better check. I love that movie. Gigan's great. <laughs> it is when you can really land a building to the face, it is hilariously satisfying. No, don't hit Angiris. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the single player of this is pretty cool though. They do uh they they found a fun workaround for burning Godzilla. They they called it like uh meltdown mode or something. And, you know, cuz they didn't want to pay for another different monster. But it looks close enough, and the cool the cool part is that any monster can enter that state. So you get to basically see the burning version of everybody. So that was pretty cool. There's it's a weird it's a weird mix of like of of good ideas and just kinda unfinished or, or kinda sloppy execution. That is the story of this game. This is the story of the game. Oh man, so uh, my coworker was telling me about this idea he had for like a, uh, a concert festival event. 100 bands, 100 jams. And the idea is you just get as many one hit wonders together to perform their one hit, uh, you know, over the course of a day. And I was like, that's a good idea. Because you get, what you do is you get two stages. So the one hit wonder is doing their, doing their one hit on one stage while the other stage is preparing for the next one. So it's just a constant stream of one-hit wonders. I'm like, dude, people are going crazy for nostalgia right now. Like, that that could work. I thought that was kind of genius. There we go. There we go. Yeah, World Children's Land is demolished. That's another thing I, I always wanted to see in the games, is a World Children's Land map. Angulus. Gamera the Brave when Gamera gets thrown in the building sounds like a TIE fighter. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I like sand so much. Alright, so that's it. Um, but there's a bunch of other cool stuff in this game. We've got some stream left. So instead of switching gears and, and booting up something different, throw me a request. Because we've got, we've got Jet Jaguar. We've got original Mechagodzilla. We've got King Caesar. 54 Godzilla. Mega Gears. Magura. Anguirus. I always called him Anguirus. Because that's, that's how I knew him first. 
uh, Godzilla 2000, Kiryu, Mothra, Barry, Sanders, just kidding, Baragon, Heisei Godzilla, Varen, Heisei Mechagodzilla, Fire Rodan, oh, random, I love random, I'm so glad that's an option, I do that in Smash Brothers a lot, uh, Megalon, Orga, Biolanti, get that Michigan accent in there for Lanty, uh, Titanosaurus, Destroy a Gigan. The whole, the, the, a great roster. I actually love this lineup. It's not perfect, of course, because I want everybody. <laughs> you know, I want Giant Condor to be playable. But, uh, this is pretty good. I would, I, I'm hard pressed to pick a favorite roster between this and PS4 Godzilla. There's pros and cons to each. I know, I can't believe, this went by super fast. Agreed, Ted. Please don't let them fight because it would cause too much calamity. Yeah. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Biolanti, Destroy, uh, OG Mechagodzilla, and Orga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Giant Condor rules, man. That's the thing. So, I mentioned earlier, like, I just want a wrestling game. Just straight up take, like, No Mercy for the N64 rip out the wrestlers and put in monsters and that'd be like my perfect game and the cool thing about wrestling games is they always have a roster of like 70 dudes and when you have that many you can have like some joke characters that just by by design you can't really win with them but it's great that they're there for for when you set up fights and so yeah i would love to have giant condor i would love to have minya minya could win though i'm fucking convinced minya could win because minya is my boy but yeah, I think that'd be so cool. Ah, <sighs> someday. Um, but yeah, we'll do, uh... We should do a mod for 2K17. I was think, Dude, you read my mind. Rikyo, that's messed up. I was literally thinking about that today. Just straight up modding one of them. Obsidious and Crystal Act to sully the good name of this game. You know, it was like a nice thought. They're like, let's throw in some more monsters without having to pay for them. But they're so boring. Create horrific models in ZBrush. No, dude. If we if we mod 2K17, I I would want to just rip models from PS4 Godzilla and this game and just shove them in there. There's got to be a way to do that, right? Just use the same human animations from before. That would be awesome. Titanosaurus. Okay, so I got a few different got a diff few different requests, but we still got like a half hour, so we could probably hit all of these. Um, we'll start with we'll. We'll start with Rikio's uh, Biolanti Destroya Mechagodzilla Orga four way, and it'll be no teams because I know you were jonesing for that. Get out of here, teams! Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be Biolanti because she is a bad bitch. I love Biolanti. Destroya. Original recipe Mechagodzilla. He's so good. That's the best Mechagodzilla for sure. And Orga. Yeah. Bunch of post-Nakajima stuff. I dig it. Uh, let's go to Osaka, because we haven't been there in a while. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Because I have to, I have to deprogram my brain from PS4 Godzilla to play this one. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, dude, I love that. <laughs> they went so cuckoo with the animations for this game. Just redonk. Yeah. Suck it. Oh, they gave they gave Mechagodzilla ridiculous like 90s robot sound effects. There we go. That's that's the move. God, Biolanti is huge. <laughs> she is ridic. Uh oh. Oh, oh, Mecha Godzilla. I'm so sorry, buddy. You are in the middle of this.
Oh, her, her, uh, her strong attack is pointless. It doesn't hit anybody. <laughs> I love it, man. Just flinging them around. Mechagodzilla looks like a baby compared to Biolanti. <laughs> Playing as Biolanti is basically cheating. Let's uh, let's get some more puke sap going. Oh yeah, fight amongst yourselves. All right, nighty night. Oh my god, it's over, motherfucker. Savage. Yeah, that doesn't hit anybody. <laughs> I'm just bullying these little baby monsters. Uh oh, uh oh. They've wised up. Ooh, Mechagodzilla's down for the count. Kind of saw that coming. Good night, sweet prince. Oh, here, I better take this. <laughs> Sorry, fuckers. Nope. <laughs> I love how she just flops backwards like that. Alright, just you and me, buddy. <laughs> just I do love a good reversal. I wish you could throw, I wish you could pick up dead monsters' bodies and throw them. Holy shit. <laughs> Orga, I'm so sorry. This is like a horror movie for kaiju. I love Biolanti, but this seems excessive. <laughs> Nighty night. He does. He sounds like, yeah, Mechagodzilla in this sounds like Terminator. It's a little strange. Yeah, the life bars in this are weird. Agreed. They're confusing. You need, you need that, that, that HUD, that heads up display that needs to be really clear cut and it's not. Uh, ba 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 ba. <laughs> flora fauna. I know, Ricky, I know how much you love flora fauna. You hold Z in the fire button to recharge your breath faster. Yes, I actually did know that. For once, I knew something about a game I've been playing for 15 years. Two is roar. I keep forgetting. Honestly, at this point, I'm just forgetting to do it. Someday, what were our other suggests? We had, uh, Crystalac and Obsidious. Natch. I'm going to be Obsidious, though. Truly don't care for uh, Crystal Act. And then Titanosaurus for sure. And then that gives us room for one more. If you want to see somebody. Yeah, these button one and two buttons way at the bottom. I'm never gonna think to hit those. Let's see. Who haven't we seen yet? Tonight. We haven't seen Mogara or Mogera. I never I don't know how to say half the things. I love all this stuff. I do not know how to say most of it. Uh Mogera we haven't seen. We haven't seen the two newer Mechagodzillas. We haven't seen Megalon. We haven't seen Destroya. 
No, we did see Destroyer in that last fight, in that mosh pit. We haven't seen Mecha King, uh, King Ghidorah or Space Godzilla, I think. Oops. Oops, I lost chat. I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> Let's do Megalon. Yeah. Coo. Right, yeah, yeah. Pronunciations through text are uh, hard to make happen. Yeah, let's get Megalon in there. I was I was bummed Megalon wasn't in the PS4 game. I have I've really grown to love that silly fuck. Uh, this seems like a Monster Island kind of fight. Just saying. Just saying. Ted, when you said I could teach you, it made me think of Milkshake by Kellis. You could teach me, but you'd have to charge. Okay. Oh yeah, all those stock sound effects. Here, we'll 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 roar with this dum dum. Oh, he's silent. Oh, you can barely hear it. There we go. He he makes more noise when you attack. Trash and Titano. Titanosaurus is a great looking monster. I love the classic dinosaur monsters, but that roar is murder on the old ear bones. Here we go. Let's charge Moo up. And just puke some magma at these dummies. I like that. I like that. Uh, Obsidius's roll. I spoiled it. I like that his run is to turn into a ball and roll, though. That's that's cool. Neither neither of these monsters are like bad. They're just kind of generic. And it's like, oh yeah, there's Titanosaurus's famous beam, which is actually based on the sonar beam that's used against him in the movie, which doesn't make any sense, but I feel like that was kind of neat. Instead of just an arbitrary beam, they picked something that's related to him somehow. I, I appreciated that. Again, it didn't actually make sense, but, you know. <laughs> I like fucking with somebody while they're in the midst of a beam battle. That's kind of awesome. Ooh. Uh-oh. There we go. Obsidius's throw is weird. And his, his, his A special is weird. There we go. His kick is dope, though. His strong kick. Yeah, Titanosaurus is going diggity down. Uh, Super Metroid fans will recognize some of Titanosaurus's roars as Krokomire's roar. The, uh, man, were you guys, I don't know if any of you guys were following the production of this game, but, uh, so Crystalac and Obsidius weren't just pulled up, well, Obsidius was for sure going to be in the game, or no, Crystalac was going to be in the game no matter what, because he ties in with the Crystal story, but Obsidius was voted on. They had, uh, three or four other designs, and fans got to vote, and of course they voted for the boringest one, but, uh, the other ones were, well, maybe he, he maybe wasn't the boringest one. Some of them, some of the other options were a little generic, but uh, the other options were Lightning Bug, which is like a big, kind of Megalon style anthropomorphic bug, but it's of course based on a lightning bug instead of a instead of a stag beetle slash cockroach. So I kind of liked that. Um, I really liked Fire Lion, despite the boring name. Because Fireline was even more Shiza statue esque than King Caesar, and it was before they had announced King Caesar, so m my brain was like, "Well, we're probably not going to get King Caesar. That's why they're offering this guy." So I voted for him. But they also had, um, they also had a monster called the Visitor, 
which kind of looked like the Xenomorph from Alien, only it was it only it was white and it had big like tentacles coming out of its back. And ultimately, that's the one we should have got. Like, since Fireline was so similar to King Caesar, and the other ones were kind of generic, I'm I'm bummed that we didn't get Visitor. Cause that would have been a that would have been a cool and weird monster. Though I guess his color palette would have been too similar to Crystalac, though. Because they were both kind of like white and purple. So Titano's out of it. I'm almost... Oh, we're all almost out of it. We're doing kind of equal here. Oh, I got lots of beam. I forgot about my beam. Oh, oh shit. There we go. Yeah! Suck it, Crystalac. Crystal lack is crystal whack. Oh, Megalon's digging. Oh, I'm dead. I talked too much junk. All right, let's uh, place your bets. Crystal lack or Megalon? I'm giving it to Megalon. Titanosaurus shouldn't be. Oh, shouldn't be labeled as a mutant. Agree. Yeah, Titanosaurus should have been with the alien invaders. Because I feel like that's the closest faction. Oh, and aliens were in charge of that. So yeah, that actually makes sense. Gabra and Ibira were worse, sound-wise. I can see that. I don't know. I didn't mind Gabra. Oh, Ibira literally hurt my ears, though. There was that one sound clip where I'm like, holy shit. Always want to make yeah oh Meg oh Megalon would be would be such a fun good guy. Was he ever on Zone Fighter? I know Gigan, Godzilla, and Ghidorah were. I feel like I feel like Megalon would have been on Zone Fighter. He's kind of Ultra Manny anyway with his drill hands and stuff. Oh, Crystal Act one, dang. Super Metroid uses Angelus's and Mothra's voices. That's cool. I love that. Can we vote for none of these? Wah wah. I liked Visitor. Mega Boy. Yeah, baby. Megalon's not on Zone Fighter. That's a missed opportunity. I think he would have fit right in. Uh, okay. So, throw me another suggest, dudes. Who do you want to see fight? Also, yeah, two... two uh, two way, three way, four way. Let me know. Throw throw any suggestions at me. I'm I'm up for anything. Uh, we still haven't watched Space Godzilla. We haven't seen Mecha King Ghidorah. So I would actually I'll fast track those two. Space Godzilla and Mecha King Ghidorah. And I think that's it. Oh, and the two newer Mecha Godzillas. I guess that's okay. Unless you guys vote hard for somebody. Back in my mind, I'm saying the two Mecha Godzillas and uh, basically the four we haven't seen yet. Mecha G versus 2000. Oh yeah, we haven't seen we haven't seen any of the newer Godzillas either. Okay, I'm into that. Uh, oh, all three Mecha Godzillas, right? Because you said Mecha Gs. I'm into that. Uh, I'm gonna be old school. Let's get him. Beef it up. Let's get him. And let's get Godzilla 2000. Cool. We don't have to do Space Godzilla. I like this matchup. Should this be teams? Should it be three Mecha Godzillas versus one Godzilla? Or do you want uh, a fatal four-way? I'll wait for that. Because this might have... This might... 90s is just reskin 54. Yeah. Is he? I thought the moves were... I thought they had a couple different moves. I could see it, though. I love that they threw 54 in here, but in the context of the game, it should have been a 60s or 70s suit. It would have been sick. I would have loved to have a 70s suit in one of these games. <laughs> Take on three enemies at once. Oh, I'll do that. I'll totally do that. I'll be, uh, I'll be Godzilla 2000. Let's back it up. We can do that. Bango. 
Yeah, I'll take them all on. I'll get my ass kicked. That'll be funny. Team them up. Oh boy. Ooh, four way. Toho doesn't like the 70s suits? Well, Toho's crazy. They are wrong. Yeah, let's do a four way. I'm into that. We. I'm back and forth. I'm real wishy washy. Oh, it's set to not use teams anyway. Oh, yeah, boom. We're already there. Bango. Yeah, Toho's nuts. 70 suits rule. Uh, bu 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 oh, we haven't seen Seattle. And. We were talking about uh, Seattle being the climactic one. So this kind this might work out perfectly. Perfectly. 70s were cool. I love those movies. Oh, shit. Wake up, Matt. Though, actually, I don't know. These guys are kind of taking care of themselves. Bye. Uh-oh. <laughs> they just sound like generic cartoon robots. That's such a strange choice. Oh, shit. Yeah, you missed. It is kind of neat. The, the, the moon jumping is kind of stupid, but I, it is kind of neat how mobile these guys are. They definitely... Oh, my God. They're definitely more mobile than the PS4 game. Shit. Oh, I did get it. Cool. Oh, I'm in lava, though. Get out of the lava. Oh, I really wish I had the nuclear pulse move. I think I do, don't I? Nope, that's a fireball. What am I, Gamera? I wish. Kiryu seems huge. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> Oh my god. I remember when this came out, people were mad that uh, original Mechagodzilla had bendable fingers. Because he does it. In the, in the movie, he doesn't. He has missile fingers. And he can, you know, he can only karate chop. And their defense was, well, you know, he's got to be able to throw a punch. I was like, why? Just make him karate chop. That's awesome. Everybody loves karate chops. It's another thing that's like Toho's so Toho's so up everybody's butt all the time about certain things, but they're like, yeah, no, it's fine. Just bend his fingers, we don't care. You can't you can't tint their skin for team fights. But uh just change his hands. Um oh, oh wow, he's already done so. I'm doing the best. That's hilarious. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I won by attrition. Hooray. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, God bless Bano, man. I love that dude. I'm glad he stuck with that. Yes. Oh, Toho would get pissy if they threw in Gamera. I believe it. So fast you can't even finish that simile. That's a that's a that's a bummer. That's such a huge bummer. I wish I wish they could work it out. Maybe if they threw enough money at Toho, they could work it out, maybe. I fucking wish. Cuz I figured Gamera would be cheap to acquire. So the money you don't spend acquiring him, maybe they could throw at Toe to make him be cool with it. That's a bummer. All right, I got. Uh, I definitely got time for one more fight though. Um, so yeah, throw me throw me any suggestions you got. Who you want to see? What kind of setup you want? Just toss it out there. I'm open to anything. What were we talking about prior to the three Mecha Godzillas? That was a great. That was a good call though. I like that a lot. <laughs> Rikyo, you do owe a thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars to me. Finger stabs would have been sweet too. Going back to his missile fingers. Can you make it? Yeah. Well, cause a lava pool for for kaiju is just like a hot tub. 
Yeah, like they're on vacation. You got it. Right, Ted. That's what I want to know is uh, at what point does their love of money outstrip their hatred of Gamera? That's that's the million dollar question. Maybe literally a million dollar question? Million dollar answer? Space guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, the other the other dudes we haven't seen yet. That makes sense. I'm going to be I'll be Mecha King Ghidorah cuz we haven't seen dudes man yet. And computer can be Space Godzilla and the computer can be Heisei Godzilla and ooh we've seen our rest. The last the last one could be random ooh 90s versus 54 that's a cool one hmm um, 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 uh. I'm torn let's do fuck it let's do both I'm gonna do random here wild card and then uh we'll end it with we'll end it with uh heisei verse 54 after this that'll be sick i like that i like that thanks for watching guys who is our rando two space godzillas beautiful excellent work computer dang it you gotta time so the the beam battle is like a weird little Wii tennis thing which I, I actually love um but you gotta time it just right and I did not oh my god I forgot how crazy uh Mecha Ghidra's kicks are I don't know what's happening <laughs> I'm just gonna keep kicking and hope for the best just hopping around like a deranged Easter rabbit. Oh boy, Nakagidra's a fucking beast. As he should be. I'm fine with that. Yay! Aw, I got to fly for a little bit. Holy shit. I really like in PS4 Godzilla the like area clearing special attacks. I uh I rely on that <laughs> a lot. So it's weird to switch to a game that just doesn't have it at all. Ooh, I got uh I got stunning rockets. Stun somebody. Ba bang. Holy shit. Bam. Oh, that's a good... I don't know what's that. I know that's a cool throw because I remember this game. But, uh, you know. Crystals and particle effects and... Space Godzilla's glowing. You know, normal stuff. <laughs> this is total mayhem. That's kind of awesome. The, uh, I, I gotta say, I, I'll always be biased towards Destroy All Monsters Melee, because that was the one I had uh, the most fun playing with friends. Um, I, got, I got some fond memories of that. That was, that was like a minor multiplayer classic around the, uh, the super apartment way back when. Even though you know it had a way smaller roster, its uh, its levels were were much more generic, but it just felt it just seemed like a more polished game. In some ways, there were some goofy exploits in in uh, in that game and in Save the Earth. Why are they glowing? I don't remember that mechanic. It is satisfying to just fling motherfuckers two or three blocks through the air. Bye. It's like some violante kind of madness. Oh yeah, and then Godzilla. <laughs> Everybody just moon jumping everywhere. Oh yeah. 
That's uh speaking of moon jumping. Bye. I want this. Give me them crystals. Yeah. Yeah boy. I wish his beams changed color like they did in the movie. I didn't notice that until I was reviewing it for the blog. It goes from like green and red to teal and purple and it looks awesome. That's a cool beam. I know it's, I know I'm kind of down on beams. I'm just I'm not down on beams. I'm down on everyone having a beam. If everyone has it, it's not special anymore. Dang, uh, Heisei Godzilla's kicking ass. And I said, hey, yeah. <laughs> it's because he's moon jumping everywhere. He knows. He knows the secret to this game. Just me and him. I oh, like the movie. I'm glad. I'm glad Space Godzilla, even in death, is still doing psychic stuff. Oh, if only I could carry him out to sea. There we go. Your incredible ups can't save you now. Is that a nod to uh, Godzilla vs. Barkley? The fact that he has incredible jumping skills. Oh shit. Oh, I goofed that. Straight goofing, y'all. There we go. Blam! Blam! Yeah. Oh, we got this. We got this. I'm feeling good. Nope. It's okay. I'm still feeling good. I was still feeling good. There we go. Ooh, come out. Yeah. It's a cool in concept, but... Come on. Yeah. Oh, I keep doing it. There we go. I do. I do. I love. I love grabs and I love throws. Yeah. All right. We got one more in the tank. Oh, oh ran, Rando Yaguchi. I was cracking up. Absolutely. You. Uh, I love doing this. Ooh, custom soundtrack. Do I have? I don't think the Wii could do that. I know the Xbox could. King of the Monsters, but not the brightest. They're recharging their energy faster in the grave. Alright, this is it. OG versus OMG. That was terrible. Just kidding. Hey, say, baby. Alright, and let's do this in. Let's do it in Osaka. Alright, this is it. Place your bets. Place your bets. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent work. <laughs> oh, bonk. Oh, yeah. Do a lot better than I was uh, at the beginning of the night. That's for sure. Keyhole. Oh dear. Oh yeah, that castle. See, I oh, man. You need more ways to interact with the environment, I feel like, in a game like this. I want to be able to reenact the scene from King Kong vs. Godzilla where they're they're on either side of that castle. Or a castle that looks like it. It maybe isn't the same one. But they're on either side of it, and they're just tearing at it to get at the other one. 
I love shit like that. Picking up and throwing buildings is, is funny and cute, and actually is a pretty good like gameplay mechanic, but I need I need meatier interaction. I always think of it. I know it's a it's a, such a probably seems like such a crazy example, but I always think of Def Jam Fight for New York, and it just seems like the guts of that game. You swap out rappers for kaiju, and it, I think it would be perfect. You got lots of lots of cool environmental stuff. It's got a nice meaty, fast, but not too. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong Godzilla. Derp. Fast but not too fast combat. Shit. Wow, he had a lot of beam charged up. <laughs> yeah, suck it. This is this is one of those cases of like you know, dad strength. You can beat up your dad. It's just you can't. We're too strong. Especially especially my dad. Holy shit. He's like, uh, grew up on a farm. So he's got like that farmer invincibility. Where they, I can't remember what comedian it was. There was a, there was a comedian who had a, a routine about how like the only way farmers die is if they get struck by lightning or if a tractor falls on top of them. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that actually sounds about right. Farmers like the the kaiju of rural America. Or benevolent food growing Jasons. Pow! This is it. Oh man. I don't want to be cocky, but I feel like I, I feel like if I went back and fought Angiris, I would whip his ass. Uh-oh. Yeah, there it is. That's a good way to end it. That is a good way to end it, dudes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tommy Castle's the one in King Kong vs. Godzilla. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Ted, Riccio, thanks for stopping in. Uh, if anybody else is still watching, also thanks for stopping in. Uh, I'm Matt. This is Super Apartment Friends. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Probably, probably going to switch back to doing Star Trek tomorrow. But uh, had to do had to do a memorial stream for uh, for Haruo Nakajima, the original Godzilla. So uh, sad that he passed on Monday, but left an incredible legacy and touched a lot of people's lives and just was an amazing person, uh, playing a role that is iconic and famous. But I feel like maybe he didn't get the recognition he deserved for it but uh it's all good so guys thanks for stopping in um for the kaiju lie aftershock uh ricky you got a last thought get it out get it out you little fuck um yeah we'll, we'll do the bonus stream tomorrow at our normal time do like three to five but if you can't make it to that we're here every thursday night from 10 to midnight Eastern time, play all kinds of different stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of fun. Haru Nakajima was fantastic. Uh, he was absolutely the man. Um, and just the more, the more I learn about him, the more I'm like, damn, that guy was on point. Um, so yeah, man, thanks for stopping in everybody. If I don't see you tomorrow, have a super apartment weekend. Um, actually we got to shut it down. So, it always takes me longer to shut it down than I think it will. Oops. Yeah, he he only he only is getting uh, he's only getting his much deserved praise uh, posthumously. But you know, better late than never. Uh, like how? Yeah, it's true. It's just a thing that happens. I uh, I think it's easy to talk shit about. You know, we only care about a celebrity when they're dead, and. You know, th maybe that does say something weird about human nature. I mean, it does. It does say something weird about human nature. But, like, instead of poo-pooing it, just be happy that uh, people are discovering, you know, these amazing artists and uh, creators and celebrities and, and whatever else. Whatever else people care about uh, people that die. So, 
Yeah, exactly. And that's, I think that's kind of the cool thing about all these, uh, all these artists and celebrities, even, you know, when they die, sure. There's all the hangers on who are like, Ooh, I was always a fan. I always cared so much and they're full of shit. But if it turns more people onto their work, then it's worth it. Uh, yeah, he, he was the man. He was this genre. And that's actually something I didn't realize until reading up on him is how much input he had into everything and how much he shaped it. He choreographed all the fights. And the fights are, like, one of the coolest parts. That's, like, what everybody comes for. And that was all him. So, yeah, it's it's he's an incredible dude. But, uh, yeah, again, thanks for stopping in, guys. Uh, Matt, Super Apartment Friends. We're on Facebook as Super Apartment Friends. You can follow us there. Uh, we're also on Twitter as Super APT Friends. Um, I'm on Tumblr as uh, Monsters Conquer the World. My blog is Monsters Conquer the World. I did a, a, a little retrospective on Nakajima there if you want to check that out and you haven't. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'm done. <laughs>